lot of attention on this Rangers Blue Jays game, and it's not because of the matchup on this brand new field. As many as 40,518 fans could pack this ballpark. That would make it the largest gathering of people in this country in more than a year. But President Biden is already calling foul. This morning, concerns about a double mutant coronavirus variant in the U.S. The variant first discovered in India, now identified in the San Francisco area. This is the first time this particular double mutant has been found in the United States, and it was found here at our Stanford laboratory. This is COVID cases across the country climb, and fears of a fourth wave are growing, even as more than 106 million Americans have received at least one dose of the vaccine. It's kind of like a race between getting people vaccinated, and the more people on a daily basis you get vaccinated, the better chance you have of blunting or preventing that surge that we're all concerned about. Millions of Americans are now heading back home from the Easter holiday after families gathered for Easter celebrations outdoors. I'd much prefer being inside in a pew, on a pew, so you can express yourself more, but uh, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. And at masked and socially distant services. The nation's daily case average up nearly 20% in the last two weeks. Experts fearing the spread of variants will only accelerate it, like in Massachusetts, where there are more cases of the Brazilian variant than anywhere else in the country. If we don't control uh, COVID-19, that that gives the virus opportunities for new mutations to arise. Now is not the time to let our guards down. And as sporting events welcome fans back, concerns COVID could spread there too. 23-year-old Alabama basketball fan Luke Ratliff dying from COVID complications after attending the NCAA tournament in Indianapolis last week. This is the Texas Rangers prepare to welcome a packed stadium for their home opener today. The only major league ballpark in the country opening up at full capacity. In an interview with ESPN, the president calling it a mistake. A Rangers CEO says they are not hosting a super spreader event here. Pretty soon, they'll open up the roof and the side doors of this place to help with ventilation. They have safety protocols in place. Even though Texas is a state that's opened up to 100% without restrictions, they will be requiring fans to wear masks here today. They say if you don't comply, you'll get a warning, and then you could be ejected. Amy. It's about a double mutant coronavirus variant in the U.S. The double mutant, the double mutant, the double mutant.